hey guys welcome back to another one of my video on my youtube channel growing orchids in jamaica where i share my experience with you on just how i grow orchids in jamaica in case you are new please subscribe so you see just how i grow orchids in jamaica and to my 3000 subscribers guys i just want to say thank you so much for staying there with me and allowing me to reach this milestone i am so grateful and i am so happy guys today i will be showing you what is happening with my almond tree and so if you want to see just what is happening under my arm on tree guys why don't you just stay tuned all right so welcome back guys of course you know the almond tree is one of those infamous fixtures in my yard where i use it for more than one reason i use it to display most of my hanging plants as well as i use it to provide just a little bit of shade to my sun vandas that are placed under it but of course as you know i have been having some challenges in terms of the spots that are on the tree the disease that is on it and the fact that it is actually transferring some of those spots to my plant and because of that i actually wanted to remove it i wasn't quite sure what to do with it i did ask you what to do with it some persons said perhaps I should remove it. Some persons said I should probably get some advice from some agronomists and see, you know, if it can be treated. I did some research myself on it and yes, it can be treated. However, I would have to start the treatment very, very early, which I did not. And so this year again, of course, no different from the other years. It has the spots on it and because of that, I actually removed most of my bandas from under the tree. If you notice here, those that I had at the back, they are no longer there. However, I have a few plants that have been hanging under it, some under it, some not under it. But those that I have hanging under it, some of them are putting out some spikes, some buds, and I just can't wait for those to be opened up. So of course, it's a rainy day, somewhat overcast rainy day in my neck of the wood, but of course, my orchids usually brighten my day. And so I decided to show you what is happening here under the almond tree. So look at this, guys. Look at how gorgeous this plant is. I'm gonna put the ID of this one on the screen so you will actually see the name of it i'm not too familiar with this variety but it's indeed a beautiful one this one is actually grown in a wooden hanging basket and i have tried using this concept just about two years now two three years and i find that the plants really love these wooden baskets and so i am gonna put especially my catalea or Catalea type orchids in the wooden hanging baskets because it seemed to really love that. Look at the rooting system and just look at how well the plant is actually doing. In the hanging basket, I really don't put a lot of medium in there. If you look in here, just a few um, rocks with some charcoal, little bits and pieces of sphagnum moss and, and that's all that is in it and it really loves it so i recently purchased this one and decided to also put it in this wooden hanging basket and of course guys it loves it and it is doing pretty well so this one is a bc marie glory h and r fr columbia this is what 
the bloom looks like and I just think this is a beautiful one Cattleyas and I are really not good friends they don't or the orchids from the Cattleya Alliance we don't do very well together and so I'm trying this new way and I find that they really like it so once I purchase a Cattleya now I am going to ensure that I put it in a wooden hanging basket Now let's zero in on this one. This is a dendrobium orchid and this is actually what we call it the bridal orchid and that is so because it is white and the blooms just cascades and it tend to put on a really nice show. So every year this one puts on a spectacular show for me. It is not fully in bloom because if you notice I still have a number of buds unopened. However, the blooms do not last very long and so I decided to just feature it this time. If ever I get all the flowers to open at the same time, then I will perhaps feature it again, but in a short video. And of course, guys, it's that time of year when the Skinnerai orchids just put on their show and look guys this one is usually a showstopper but i noticed most of them this year have not put on the kind of show that i'm accustomed to but nevertheless guys they are blooming see right here it has on some new buds that it's pushing out of the sheath so this is one that I tend to have a really nice show, but it's not so showy this year. But nevertheless, it's doing its thing. This is another Skinner Eye, guys. And this one is just so bright and so awesome. The color is just spectacular. And these rose pink color, which is just an awesome one. I really just have them hanging and not much that I do with them, but just water and fertilize. In a similar manner, I do my other plants. Just look what's going on behind this skinner eye, guys. Oh, yes, at this one. Isn't this an amazing one, guys? Let me see if I can find the ID for you, just to show you what this one actually is. This one is a Goriante Arantiaca Bar Spot. This one puts on some lovely orange color flowers with spots in it. Just look at that. Yes. So that's a beautiful one. And right behind the Arantiaca is this beautiful one here. So, okay, it's this Marmeco Catalea Cupid's Arrow Orchid. I actually got the name from one of my supporters, PC. Thank you so much. And when I did the research, I realized that's exactly what the orchid is. And that one too is in a hanging basket and before putting it in the hanging basket, it wasn't doing very well for me, you know. And I tell you, I just tried it. And guys, I am so happy that I did because they do much better for me in the hanging basket. I guess I can't overwater them. And the roots are not kept wet for too long. Okay, so this one here, let me show you my Phalaenopsis orchid. So, some time ago, one of my YouTube supporters, Ali K, suggested to me that the base of the midrib of the coconut leaves, of course, the entire coconut leaf is called the frond, is a great mounting material. 
And of course, you know, as our kid grows, we are going to try all of these things to see what really works for us. And I mounted my first Phalaenopsis orchid on it. And guys, I am really getting some good results here. And so today I am presenting to you this Phalaenopsis orchid that has been mounted on this coconut midrib. So I'm just showing you here again where this other Phalaenopsis orchid actually on its way to the cemetery. And I decided to take it out of the pot and mount it on this piece of fern root. And look here, guys, it is actually sending up some new plants. You can see it right there. Uh, and just shows me that if it is not dead, don't throw it out. Yes. You can see it much better now, right there. So it almost died on me. And I took it out of the pot and decided to put it on this fur note bar. And that's what is happening. This one is not yet sending anything out, but I'm hoping that pretty soon something will start happening with this one as well. So I can't wait to see this one reach a stage where it actually start blooming in a similar manner as this one has been doing. So there it is, guys. And one of my Phalaenopsis orchid that is actually mounted. I had tried mounting some before on the coconut husk, but they didn't do well for me. So I find it does a little better for me on this. Looking at it from a different angle, as I usually like to do. And of course, on my table, I have this other Catalea orchid. But this one I have potted, so perhaps I'll take it out and put it also in a hanging basket just to see, you know, how well it will do for me there. But the truth is, I've already put a piece of this in the hanging basket. I just did that. So I can't wait to see it, you know, do something for me or become established because I know eventually it's gonna put on a beautiful show for me. So guys, this is what is happening right now under the almond tree. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. And so you never miss another one of my videos, please subscribe and leave me a comment below. And as we say in Jamaica, just follow back me. This is the Orchid Duck, and I am growing orchids in Manchester, Jamaica. Mm -hmm.